What's up guys, Weekend here. Um, today I'm going to bring you a guide, but it will be a combined guide. Um, lately I've been getting asked what are the top junglers for this season, what are the top builds, and to answer it over and over again on Twitter and in my streams and everything, it's getting repetitive. So this video is basically telling you the top junglers, which are Thanatos, Sirket, Thor, and Hunbats. Those are going to, be going to be your top four junglers and the junglers you should prioritize right now in this meta. In this guide, you will see Thanatos and his build, and then I will show you some gameplay from my stream. After that gameplay, I'll show you Sirket and the build, gameplay from stream, then uh, Thor and the build and gameplay from the stream, and then finally it will end with Hunbats and the build and some gameplay. Um, let me know what you guys think. In the description, I am going to set the times for when each guy, each god's guide starts in the video, so you can later on skip ahead and go to that time. Um, I hope you guys like this, and I hope it helps. Let me know if you'd rather me do individual videos, if this is good, or just for future things. Like, this is good for now, just for the top four, but to go into more detail on other gods, you want me to do individual videos in which I would do the build, and then the abilities, and everything that I used to do. So, yeah, let me know what you think, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, Thanatos, your build is Hydra Star, Warrior Tabby Boots, Jotun's Wrath, Magi's Blessing, Titan's Bane, and then you're ending with a Shifter Shield. I do start with Hydra Star, and I do not finish that off until all my other items are done. This gives you 20 damage at the start, and 10% uh, CDR, which is insane. It's so much better than Heavy Hammer or whatever. You aren't forced to invade with this build. You have an amazing laning phase with the solo laner, with your solo laner. And then with this build, you will later hit almost you'll hit cap CDR eventually once it's full build. You get the defense you need to play the initiator and the static damage and pen that keeps you basically relative throughout the whole match. Oh no. Oh she's oom, um, what? He's like oom, um, what the hell is he doing? Got a Yeah. No, she's really fucking loaded. Can you get here? Because I have to die this. Oh, I just choose myself. Let me get jump. Let me get fight. Let me fight. I'm gonna have a top for two. Nice job, dude. I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay, you're just awesome. I'm gonna back. Alright. I'm here. Good job. Oh, oh, nice. <clears throat> Keep cracking. Oh my gosh, I'm alling so hard! Where'd you go? You go, you go. Yeah, Tronos is at no health. I'm on it. <laughs> you just got fucked! <laughs> I just half health her in the back of her tower. We can kill him, right? Oh my gosh. Five is Over here. I'm coming. Just right here. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Oh, shit. I'm good. She's low as five. You can get him low enough. I can. Oh, he's like. Oh, yeah, I got him. going on tier in the back. I got his dash. Nice. I'm going on this bitch. She's silent. She can't ult. So with Sir Cat, your goal is to rush some CDR, so in your three, three, three fights you have the mid harpies or whatever, or even in your small team fights, you can get off your abilities more than once, which is huge. You're then rushing into crit. Deathbringer is what you must rush into. Um, the, the malice early rush is not worth it. You want max crits off your one and off your little bit of auto attacking you are doing. You're then rushing into magi so you cannot get locked down. Keep in mind with this build, I always go beads. All my junglers, I 99% of the time I go beads. Just remember that. Um, you're going to malice after that. You don't go rage because you're not sitting there auto attacking, building up stacks. With malice, you're getting static damage, an extra 50 over top of the rage, a rage which would be 30, so you get 20 more power. You get the dot damage when you do crit with your auto attacks or whatever, um, and you also just get more static crit. It's, well maybe not more, but you get that static crit, which is what you need. And then you go Titans Bane to round out the build and finish off your pen. Uh, with this build, you'll see per like su massive success. Uh, I've always run this. 
I'm the one who kind of found out Sir Cat, realized what she could do, and this is the build I've used since Season 1. So stick with this build, nothing's really changed. Play style is pretty much the same too, so go ahead and try it out. Let me know how it goes.